If you're a fan of the comic series Born or a fan of collected editions of good comics in general, I've got a couple of books here that may be interesting to you. This is a color edition. This is black and white. This is hardcover. This is a slipcase set of three paperbacks and each of them collect the first three books in the Born series, a series that has nine volumes. Before we go any further, a quick recap. One, I love Born. It's one of my favorite comic series of all time. Two, I've made a whole bunch of videos on Bourne, including an introductory, what is Bourne and why is it so special? Why do I love it so much? And then I have a couple of edition comparisons. All of these videos are part of my Bourne playlist, which I'll link below and up here. Three, you can read Bourne either in black and white, which is how it was originally published, or in color, which is how it became humongously popular after Scholastic reprinted the series in color. I've talked about the original single issues, the collected hardcover, the one volume edition. Again, all of these are part of the playlist link below. These two in my travels and searches are editions of Bourne that are quite unusual. I don't know if they're rare, but they don't seem to be easy to find. I don't think they're valuable. Neither of them cost me that much money, but I do think that they are fun editions and present a different way of reading this classic series. Bone is a great series and no matter how you read it in black and white or color, in hardcover, in single issues, in paperback, it's a wonderful experience irrespective. But it is one of those series that I've loved to try and find every edition I can of because of its length, because of its chapter structure and because of the arcs it contains within it. I think it's a very interesting read when you try it in different ways. This hardcover edition is titled The Adventure Begins. So it contains the first three bone books. There is a volume two that contains the next three and volume three, which contains the final three. So you can have all nine volumes in color in hardcover cover if you got this edition. The color is exactly the same as in the other color editions we've seen from Scholastic. And indeed, this is also published by Scholastic, although in the front matter, it says Scholastic Canada. And given how rarely I've seen these editions, I think it's a Canada only edition. I don't have the regular color Scholastic books. I've given them away to my nephew, the ones that I featured in my earlier videos. But I do have this bone handbook, which gives you a sense of the size that they are. So the color paperback editions from Scholastic are a little shrunken down from the original comic book size. But this Canadian hardcover edition is the original American comic book size, not shrunken down. So this is one of the few ways that I've seen and definitely not the most common way of reading Bone in color at its original size. As I said, volume one is The Adventure Begins. Volume two, I think, is called The Saga Continues. And volume three is The Epic Conclusion. Now, luckily, in the years since I first picked this up, I have been able to locate copies of Volume 2 and Volume 3. So I have completed Bone yet again in another format in these three in one hardcovers. But it's been almost three years since I got to travel, so I don't have Volume 2 and 3 in hand on my shelves over here. What I think is perhaps a little bit even more interesting than the Scholastic hardcover three in one edition is this cartoon book's slipcase of three black and white paperback editions. I believe these paperback editions in black and white were the TPBs when the series was being published in a uh, single issue floppy form as it completed arcs. These were published in hardcover as well as paperback. So the slipcase is probably just a repackaging of things that are available and perhaps easily available still to get. I don't know if these are in print or not, but the slipcase set has been hard to find. Outside of the original single issues, these trade paperbacks and their hardcover versions would probably be the most authentic way of reading Bone and having three slipcase sets, again, each slipcase containing three volumes. So the nine volumes would be complete in three such boxes. Having it in this format seems like a terrific middle ground of convenience and collectability. Now, unlike the three in one color hardcover editions, which I have been able to complete the series in, I have only been able to find two out of three boxes in all my years of hunting. So I have volumes one, two and three and four, five, and six, I am missing seven, eight, and nine. The individual volumes are called acts. So there's act one, two, and three in the first 
arc, which is titled Vernal Equinox, a name for the first three chapters that only shows up in the black and white one volume edition and not in the color editions. Because this is published by original publisher Cartoon Books, which is writer artist Jeff Smith's company, these box sets have the original arc names. So there's Vernal Equinox, which is volume one, with beautiful reproductions of inside pages serving as the covers of the slipcase and volume two, which is called Solstice, again with gorgeous front and back covers, which are actually covers of some original single issues. Vernal Equinox and Solstice are concluded with the third box, which I believe is called Harvest. As I said, I've never found a copy of Harvest, the slipcase out in the wild, but if any of you ever encounter it on Amazon or eBay, please do drop me a link. One day in the future, I will make a video titled probably every edition of Born that I own. Uh, they are a little too scattered all over the place for me to do that right now. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at two different editions of Born. not quite common. I don't know if they're rare or valuable, but I certainly think they're fun. This has been For the Love of Comics. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the next video.